ignore my cat. Um, essentially, I'm going to be showing you guys what my clothes look like, how I put together these outfits. I put them together in rows. I put my swimsuits in a corner. I put the purses I'm bringing in a corner. I put my accessories in a corner. So y'all will see that and how I lined up the shoes. And, you know, I still haven't picked between the shoes, like, who is staying home and who is getting flown out. So we we gonna see, but that's what we're doing right now. So mine's a band-aid. I kind of scratched myself here a little bit and my skin had peeled off a little bit. So I said band-aid. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what that is and let's get into it. This side is really well lit. So I guess we'll start here. Here are some of the purses I've decided I am bringing on the trip. I'm bringing this, so pretty. I'm bringing this. This is also super pretty. I'm bringing this. This is, I want to say, Rebecca Minkoff. I'm bringing this clear Michael Kors purse. So far, those are the four purses I know are coming. Um, Here is my PJs and a set of lingerie. So we got some comfy PJs, some silk PJs. Some lingerie ooh, ooh la la we have some two-piece pjs and some silk pjs and then let's get into the clothes let's get into the clothes we have one two three four five six seven eight nine dresses that made the cut we have one two three skirts and tops that made the cut the airport fits over here. They're really, some are really, really casual. Others are more like, ooh, where's she going? So that that's kind of where I went with that. I'm going to go around just to show you guys a little bit. Here are the outfits with the shorts. We have shorts and top. And then we have scarf, top, shorts. Here are some of the beachy fits. We have top, flowy pants, and then we have top, flowy pant. We have bodysuit shorts. We have wrap top shorts. So that's how we did it. All together, I have 16 legitimate outfits for this trip and two extra flowy outfits. So. 18 right here for the trip so that's usually how i will pack my stuff i will put the outfits together ahead of time because i do not want to stress about that on vacation and i will bring a good amount of dresses just so i know i have something that's instantly cute don't have to think about it just can put it on here i put some of the earrings down that will be brought on the trip these are universal universal I just brought some things I know that I could wear with a good amount of the outfits that I laid out. These are rings. I also have some rings that I got from Bobble Bar. They're so cute. So cute. Some more earrings in the boxes. If it was me, I'd want to know what they look like. So. so this is actually a necklace. It's a heart necklace, and that matches the heart that is on this shirt. It's going to be so cute. A little corny, but so cute. My favorites. I love this flamingo. Was it a flamingo? It's like a bird. I like the bird. So we got that. And then we have these hoop earrings. Y'all, I was here a little too, too close because some things fell. I was getting too comfortable. Some of my things fell. Here we have all of like the swimsuits and then we have travel size stuff here and some miscellaneous things. So that's what that's looking like for the bed. All right guys, so here's what we're looking like for shoes. Right now I have three pairs of heels and like a gazillion sandals. And I have some more sandals in there. I'm bringing my Gucci slides, some DKNY, um, some MIA. Once again, I know you guys might wanna see what's in the boxes and what they look like, so. Here's what this looks like. And then the DKNY, I'm not sure if I'm bringing it yet. It's like a maybe because the way the sandal is set up. 
So, here's the DKNY. The Gucci slides are well-known Gucci slides. There they go. It's these. So cute. So, that is what we have right now for shoes. Once again, I still got to decide who is staying here and who is going to get flown out, flown out, whatever. And yeah. All right, guys. So I am back. And one of the things I want to basically talk about is how do I pack? <laughs> how do I pack? What do I use to pack? And I really think you guys are going to want to stick around for this because honestly what i was about to do was about to be like a mess like compared to like where i was gonna go how i was gonna do things so i'm gonna show y'all what i'm gonna use to pack and relatively where i feel like you should buy it and why so hold on all right guys so i'm back here's one of the first things that i feel like you should have when packing it is these roll and pack airtight storage bags AKA they're basically compression bags. They're basically compression bags, which makes it easier for you to put in your clothes and then roll it up. So there's four pieces in here and here they go, they're in this. So this at TJ Maxx was $6. That's why I bought it, TJ Maxx, $6. On Amazon, I want to say this was either like 10 or 12. So I feel like if you're shopping out of pure convenience, or maybe like you have a TJ Maxx or Marshalls or whatever that's really far away, then you should order it off Amazon. But it is definitely much cheaper if you can find it at TJ Maxx. Other thing that I got for packing are packing cubes. Everybody talks about packing cubes. I think they're definitely worth the investment. TJ Maxx also had them, I want to say, about 40 to 50% cheaper than Amazon. So, something to keep in mind. I did not get mine from TJ Maxx, but one of my friends did. I, get, I got some for her, and it was definitely much cheaper at TJ Maxx than it is at Amazon. This was actually um, right in the middle. So, I got these at, um, at Shein when I made my Shein order. I don't know about y'all, but I love the miscellaneous section of Shein. I think it's so great. Nonetheless, it came with a laundry bag. It came with a bigger laundry bag. And then it came with the biggest laundry bag. So, three laundry bags of different sizes. And then here are the packing cubes. This is the first one. This is the second one. So I will basically be pairing these bad boys with the compression bags and hoping that fits everything that is on the bed. I will let y'all know if it does not. Hey okay, guys, so some of the other things that I got from TJ Maxx for organization and travel and packing purposes and etc. This is etc. This is a passport case. I thought it was so cute, so I got it. Um, and it was $4 at TJ Maxx compared to, I think like $8 on Amazon. Then I got some resealable bags. I also, pro tip, like to use the bags that I got from Shein that they package my stuff in it's for like putting in shoes, miscellaneous items, just so things are organized, nothing gets dirty. If you have bags like that or like drawstring bags that some purses come with, you could use that if you wanted to. So here are the resealable bags. This was $5. Of course, some Ziploc bags can do the trick too. These are just branded and they have one for like pills and like vitamins and stuff and then this was one of my favorite purchases this is the travel organizer for all of your personal items makeup etc i am in love here she go here she go i found her at tj maxx for 13 dollars. i was about to pay 20 on amazon y'all every dollar does count so here it is again and essentially it has zippers over here that you could use so you zip it so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start preparing my stuff that's going to come with me. It has to be like, y'all know, it has to be the whole 4 ounces. No, 3.4 ounces or less to make it through TSA. So here is what it looks like on the inside. 
everything is like perfectly put in here you get three compartments one and then two and then three what's really cool about this is the compartments have sticky tabs so they stick right into place and not moving they're gonna be here and then you just close her up there's also a compartment here with a zipper if you want to put extra stuff like makeup brushes etc which is where i'll probably put my stuff so that is what we have for the travel toiletry slash makeup bag this is gonna be really put to good use all right so here is the compressed bags y'all they're huge they're huge and there's four of them and you're supposed to like fold roll roll these bad boys up because y'all seen what they fit in so we're gonna start putting stuff in here i want to show y'all the difference between rolling your stuff and just folding it and putting it in look at how much space this is taking up y'all see that so i'm gonna roll that up and show you guys the difference All right, guys, so here's what the first vacuum bag looks like. I got rid, rid of the beach looking fits and all the shorts. And I also got rid of one of the skirt fits. So that all fit in that one bag. And we have that much left to go. And I'm going to roll this up. I got most of the air out of this. So now it's rolled up and done. Now we're going to do the next one. All right, guys. So here's the second bag that got all of the actual outfits off the bed. Like I said, these are airport fits. These will probably be going in packing cubes because they're gonna be touched only a few times. So, okay, that's what we have. We are gonna roll this up to get the air out. All right guys, so here's the bag now. The whole point is to press the air out of it so it ends up looking like this. And I will put this on top of the other one. hi guys so i am here and i am finishing up all of my packing i am so happy i'm practically at the end i just have a few last minute things to finish doing but i wanted to show you guys the essentially the results of everything in terms of packing and how i pack etc so i'm going to flip the camera and show you guys how I pack, why I pack, how I pack, and hopefully what I hope this takes me. <laughs> and hopefully, you know, you can also pack well for your future trips, um, especially since packing can be so exhausting, like trying to figure out what goes, what stays, like it's a lot. And then you have to actually put it in the suitcase or put it in the carry-on. Listen, nobody talks about that. And I want to talk about that so we have on the bonnet monique gonna have to fight me and let's get into it so here is my bag this is my bag this is gonna be my personal item this is not what my first choice for my personal item was let me show you guys what it actually was all right y'all so this was actually my first choice for my personal item as you guys could see it's a straw tote I like this a lot even though it's kind of open because I could fit my hat in it really easily and I felt like everything else was going to be able to go in here so easy. However, it looks oversized and that is not what you want when you go into the airport only because you don't want them to say, oh my god, this does not fit the dimensions of a personal item so we ain't going to let you board. It doesn't look like it's going to fit underneath the plane like in your seat so we're not going to let you board. 
but this is what i wanted to bring and it would have been fine if it wasn't for the fact that it was literally about two inches too wide it had the right inches in terms of height but it was about two inches too wide for my airline that i am flying with um it's really important to take a look at your airlines and their dimensions for their personal items and their carry-ons but that's why I decided not to take this one. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like in comparison to that bag. So you guys can see this bag right here, the straw bag, is actually taller than this one. Um, and it is wider than this one as well. So, like I said, I'm playing it safe with my Brahmin. I don't even know if I'd be saying that right, but that's my Brahmin bag. Um, this is the Weak Under Tote um, by Brahmin. It's very, very beautiful. Like, I, I love, I love this tote um so i have in here a couple things i have my travel blanket i have some things like my lip sleeping mask if i fall asleep on the plane i have wet ones which is just antibacterial wipes i have wipes for my glasses um i have a pair of slides I have a change of outfit that's so important. It's just a jumpsuit. I also have a first aid kit. This is my little mini first aid kit. In addition, I put some miscellaneous things in here as well. But I have this. This just holds all of like my little mini toiletries. So I have Tylenol in here. Actually, let me let me show y'all what we got in here. Here we go. I have some oil absorbent sheets. I have some floss, I have some makeup wipes, some lip gloss, I have um, this serum, I also have this Coco Cabana cream. These are all sample and travel size things that I keep in here. Um, I have the bigger one, of course. I have some roller balls and roller sprays so important for me when you're traveling i have some hand cream in here by love and beauty as y'all can see um more roll roll ons and yeah that's practically what i have in here i also have this so this is my germ x hand sanitizer spray i thought that was pretty important so i also have that in there i'm just gonna fix this back up and then close it so we're back i put that right back in there we also have this in here so this is just my phone cover this is going to be helpful for when i'm near water with my phone because i don't want nothing bad to happen to my phone back here we also have some more like just miscellaneous things so i got like my toothbrush i got some scrunchies um i have like my face roller like the jade facial roller i have some edge control you know just things that i feel like is necessary for being on the plane that's really what i have in here i'm trying to think of what else i have some hand sanitizer a mini hand sanitizer in here as well so important it says hand gel but y'all know what it is um other things that will be going in here i'm gonna put some masks in here my wallet is gonna go in here i'm gonna be bringing all of my important documentation once again guys i will be bringing some money in different denominations here i also have um this goes around my edges my airport outfit my passports right here all my required forms is over here all of that will be going inside of this check bag except for the outfit i'm probably wearing i will probably be bringing this with me this is a mini fan um might be putting on the hat but yeah that's what we got so far all right guys so here is the set that i'm actually bringing with me i was thinking about bringing this but i realized this is a smaller check bag i'm just gonna do this bigger dkny one as you guys can see it has some scuffs on it because it has been through it okay so i'm gonna show you guys what the inside of this currently looks like I'm just gonna smack that wide open so on this side i currently have some slides i can move that 
I have a, this is a cardigan. I want to say this is a cardigan. I have, um, so this is some of my airport clothes I have over here. Uh, basically what I will be traveling in. I have a returning flight, so I'll probably wear it for my returning flight. I also have some of my bigger toiletries. So here's the sunscreen. I have two body lotions in here and I rolled up my, um, I rolled up <laughs> my cardigan or my long duster, however you wanna call it. And I will be putting this right back over here. So I have one of my purses here. I have another purse inside of it. It, it. It's really looking like something. I also have a bralette in here. This is so important. So guys, this is my actual toiletry bag. I have my makeup in here as well. Um, as well as makeup brushes. It is so helpful, so useful. I will show you guys what that looks like and why that is so important. So here it is. I have makeup brushes. I have shower caps, primers. I have my makeup over here. I have some toiletries um, and I have some beauty blenders in this bag, my under eye roller. In this bag, I have, I wanna say some fragrance and some other things. All of that is over here. And then on this side of the fence, I'm gonna show y'all what this look like. Hold on. As you guys can see, there's nothing on this side, just on this side. I have some sandals in here. I'm gonna show y'all what that look like. Hold up. So here are the two compression bags that I have stacked up on each other. And as you guys can see, it only takes up half the luggage. So that is what I currently have. And mind you, all of my clothes went in here. So that's awesome. And yeah, now I'm gonna show you guys what, what this carry-on looks like. So here is, here's my carry-on bag. It's a lot going on, so let me walk y'all through it. At the very top, we have all of my sandals. We have sandals. This whole side is literally just shoes. I think I fit about six to seven pairs of sandals here, which is really impressive. So we have sandals. On this side, I have some of my purses. So I'm bringing three purses on this side and I have stuff inside of this one. I'll probably end up putting some things inside of this one and some things inside of this one. Just another good travel tip. If you're low on space to either like double bag your stuff. So if this purse was bigger, I'd probably bag it, bag this into it or vice versa, or put other things you know you're gonna need inside of your purses. Then over here, you brought it over here. Over here we have some other personal items. I have a wrinkle releaser to get rid of some wrinkles. This is really good. Um, I have soap. I have a shampoo bar. I have a moisturizer. These are all travel size things that could fit in here. Over here, what is this? Oh, over here I have just some pads, like some actual um, cotton pads, and I have a sleeping mask. So I keep just miscellaneous things in these little pockets. Well, it won't close. Here I have another first aid kit up here. I keep some of my jewelry and actual things. So I have some feminine care over here, just in case, you never know. I have jewelry, I have my other lip sleeping mask here. So that's what goes over here. Okay. Okay, so then over here, as you guys can see, it's quite adequately packed. <laughs> I have laundry bags here, so. Here's my laundry bags. I have a makeup palette and I have packing cubes. I have three packing cubes stuffed in here. So here's the first one. There's another one that has all of my pajamas. This has all of my undergarments. Here is just a random pair of shorts that I stuffed. And then as you guys can see, what I did was I put the makeup palette here and I put the two strapless bras we was working with here. Okay, I have this exfoliating washcloth. 
I keep my expensive sandals and stuff in my carry-on. So I have like my Gucci slides here. And then I have another pair of packing cubes. And this just has all of my swimwear. So that's what we have here. We're just going to fix that really quickly. So it could be repacked. I'm gonna zip that back up. All right guys, so I zipped that back up and that is all set. So both should be done, hopefully, by the end of tonight. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. As you guys can see, I had a lot more space in here. Um, but that is what we got for the checked bag and the carry-on bag. All right. Okay, guys. So that was basically it for my how I pack, how I get ready to travel video. I hope you guys learned something new. Some of the things that I do want to add to everything that I've showed you guys is just the importance of having the right tools when you are packing. So I had the compression bags, I had the packing cubes, I had the toiletry organizer case. All of those things really came in handy. I also learned how to reuse things I already had. So I had some Shein bags from a previous Shein purchase. You guys can see that video on my channel. And I use those Shein bags for my shoes. Um, I use them to pack some miscellaneous things. I also bought some travel bags. They're plastic bags. They could have been Ziploc bags, to be honest with you. Um, and I had bought that and that was also super duper helpful. Um, in addition, I think it's really important to obviously print your documents. So you wanna have backups of things, backups of your passport backups of your travel authorization forms, et cetera, et cetera. Just have your documents printed and ready to go just in case. Um, in addition, make good use of some of the apps that your airlines recommend. So my airlines recommended um, a few apps that could help keep track of your health documents, um, especially with all of the COVID related requirements. Um, there's other apps that help you get through customs. Like I heard about Clear haven't used it can't tell you nothing much about it but i heard that it helps people get through quicker when they're trying to get through the airport and you know just those types of things um i wanted to also say if you guys made it to the end thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoy my little gold bonnet i hope you guys enjoy the way my skin is glowing i hope y'all enjoy everything um i wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching I hope to see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to like this video. Please don't forget to leave a comment about anything or something you enjoyed, comments you have in general. <laughs> Please don't forget to share this with your friends. I am looking forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.